Hello and welcome to the Healing Settings interviews where we interview artists and inspire others to live life beautifully. Join us on this Healing Settings movement. Hello and welcome. Today we have Rachel Ross with us. Thank you, Rachel, for joining us today. Hi, Claire. From getting to know you, you're obviously very bubbly and bright and we can see that in your works. Would you like to explain your art journey with us and what your style is and what you do? Sure. Well, very, um, I guess my art journey um, in a brief sense is I've, I've been creative my whole life. Like I was thinking about this the other day and um, I probably, you know, early on, I would come home from art classes at school and then I'd get my little sister and I'd set up still lifes and I'd teach her how to draw them and just spend all my time pouring into art. And since leaving school, I... Um, have had four young children and along that journey I haven't been, I wasn't painting but then I met an artist who was also a kindy teacher I kind of made a comment like oh I can't wait till I get to your stage like my kids are growing up and then I have time to paint again and she said no you have to start painting now if you're a creative and you love it just do it don't wait for the time or the right time just pick up a paintbrush and so I did and I shared that with her then she asked me to start sharing it with you know, suggested I should start sharing it with um, the wider audience. So I've been exhibiting my work um, in South Australia here. We have the Sala, which is the South Australian Living Artist Festival. So yes. I was um, invited to do some exhibitions for that, um, for the City Council. I've also um, recently, for the last year, been doing murals, which I love. So um, in education environments, I've done a huge mural at um, a school, a primary school, a kindy, local businesses, so inside cafes. Um, oh, and I'm also so sorry, um, teaching art now as well. So I'm running some art classes. Yes. And you've got a lot of freedom in your work too. I can, I mean, I saw the, the ones on the primary school and also the kindy and it's just so vibrant and bright and fun for those those kids there. They love it. And it was really interactive. They, um, with the school, not the kindy, but the school children all came and painted with me. So I was able to take them through that journey. Oh, that's so really fabulous. Fun. Inspiring future artists. That's so good. And so then Rachel, when it comes to healing ceilings, what was it about healing ceilings that either drew you in or made you want to be part of the healing ceilings team? Oh my goodness. Um, well, as soon as I saw it, I think I was um, following another artist um, and friends with her online. And I saw this new... Um, business that she was involved in and the instant that I read healing ceilings and saw what you were about what we are about as healing ceilings having the art to earn to really facilitate the healing process in places that can often be very hard and emotional times um, and I've experienced that with my family um, so my young children they're in and out of hospital quite a lot um, and seeing art being used in this way and I know the personal power of it um, was so exciting to me so I jumped on it and I just said to I think it was Alyssa I just said how do I get involved who is this amazing <laughs> person Claire <laughs> I, I love it. I love, uh, like you said, I, there's so much freedom in your work and even um, your Australian animals that we have uh, under Healing Ceilings at the moment too. It's just people always comment on how much fun they are. And, yeah. and we obviously, we can see your beautiful art behind you there too. Yes, yeah, yeah. I've got some, I'm down in a local cafe um, and it's Sala are up for a month and um these ones are a uh, yeah, local one at Henley Beach and your the kind of style that you have have you got a way to explain it it's really I do more of a contemporary still life or a, um, a little whimsical yeah and just very bright as you said just very colorful it really is just um my heart as it is with most artists you know if it's my heart poured out like yeah. I paint what I enjoy and what brings happiness and I like to create that um, brightness and an atmosphere with it so the main thing my the thing that inspires me though is our um is our land and mm. other things that we find in our countryside we're a very um, outdoors family we love being out hiking camping yeah so those things that I, you know, I'm at the beach every day and my eyes are feasting on this amazing creation around us. And then yeah. that comes out of my work. Mm. Oh, that's so good. That, and, and that's the thing. And it shines right through. So what you are 
feeling. Obviously, we all like <laughs> it's all raw emotion coming out onto the canvas. Yeah, we'll see what we've got. You can definitely feel that in your pieces. There is that. It's a joy. You're so joyful. Like <laughs> whenever I think of you, I just think joy. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so great. Um, so if people want to find you, how can they find you? They can find me on Instagram or Facebook, so social media, um, and I'm Rachel Ross Artist. Um, yeah. Just before we finish up, do you have any hot tips or um, bits of advice for any future creatives out there? I think the biggest thing, the gift that was given to me was someone saying, just start painting. So yeah. like if anyone happens to watch this and you feel like you're not creating at the moment, but you'd love to, but something's holding you back, perhaps you think you don't have the skills or you're not an artist, you are, and go and paint, and it will bring you much joy. Um, and also don't be afraid to share it because the world needs to see more art and um, it's something that is a really life-giving and um, special thing to be able to give to other people. Yeah. So it's a really generous thing to, be, to show it to other people too and share it. If you would like to hear more from us at Healing Ceilings, then head to our website, healingceilings.com.au or our social media, which is Healing Ceilings Australia. You will find us there. LinkedIn, you can look for me, Claire Rackley, and I will direct you to wherever you'd like to go. But we want to make connections. So follow us, like us, tag our things. Let's continue this Healing Ceilings movement.